Hi guys, good morning. Um, welcome to today's video. Uh, today is another Sunday, so that means we are going to go and do our long ride. Unfortunately, um, it is going to rain later with a chance of scattered thunderstorms, and so that could potentially pose a problem. But we sort of have a plan to get around that because it won't actually start thunderstorming until later on in the afternoon so we're going out a little early today it is about um, almost six o'clock in the morning right now and it's foggy out there so hopefully um, the ride will go as planned we do have the lights thankfully uh, because of that that could pot potentially help give us more visibility in the fog so anyway, um, that's what we're doing today. It is a new route. We're going to Woodbury and back. So last week we had this issue with running out of water. We have two bottle cages on our bikes. Uh, so we were only able to bring two water bottles. And at the time we couldn't really go into the store because we didn't bring our masks. And so my solution for that was to get these soft lasts. And so I got two of them, one for me and one for Jason. It's by Hydra Pack. So we got this and it's gonna go in my back pocket. Uh, so you, you'll be able to see me with a little hump on my back uh, and another extra water bottle. So um, try this out. And also what's great about it is that once I finish drinking it, it can be rolled up and it weighs like nothing and you can just put it back in your back pocket and uh, it's not like you're, ex you're carrying extra empty water bottle. So. That's the solution. this uh this day uh well it's uh a little earlier than we normally ride um which should have some benefits uh in that it's nice and cool at least at the moment and uh should be less traffic also um it's pretty foggy though yeah um so we'll see how that goes hopefully that goes away and uh it's a brand new route today, so that's exciting. And uh, yeah, that's looking forward to it. Look how foggy it is. Ah. at the Candlewood East Marina. Um, so I loaded the incorrect route and uh, we were told to go a direction that I didn't want us to go. So got the route reloaded, fixed that issue. It is super foggy out here as you can see and um, we're getting a lot of moisture, um, especially on the brake levers. And also you could see, uh, you could probably see a little moisture on the the handlebar here. Um, it's pretty quiet though, so that's good. Um, kind of makes me a little nervous. Hopefully sun's going to come out through soon and uh, clouds will break. So um, yeah, we're going to head on out again. I don't know if you could see me, but uh, we are um, under a bridge right now. Both have to take our sunglasses off because one, we don't need it. And um, I thought it would be good to keep the wind out of our eyes, but there's really hardly any wind and we're going pretty slow because it's so foggy out here. Um, and also it would fog up. So, you know, that would affect our the visibility. So, um, yeah, we're just, uh, you know, taking a pit stop 
and then we're gonna head out. Uh, still no sun. So we are uh, in Lover's Leap State Park here in New Milford now. Um, there's a trail behind me and that trail goes down and connects to a road. Um, we're hoping that it's a decent rideable trail. Um, otherwise we're going to have to walk our bikes through. So we're just here to get something to eat and kind of enjoy the scenery you can't really enjoy it with all the fog but there's a great looks like there's a trail there that heads that could um oh, i think overlooks the housatonic river unfortunately you can't see it right now because it's all foggy so um yeah we're gonna just get something to drink and uh fuel up so here's jason so i'm gonna take a short walk down this trail here and hopefully you don't fall and also probably end up seeing nothing but I'm just curious to see what what this is supposed to look like here so this is Lover's Leap State Park and uh, looks like it's fairly high up here uh, but yeah the fog is uh, Fog is totally covering everything, so I can't really show you a view. Um, unfortunately, there's not much to see. Um, but yeah, just uh, kind of getting warmed up with this ride, and um, it, it looked—it was like we lost the fog for a short time, and then it came back. So we're still kind of dealing with fog, and um, so we're just taking it slow, and um, haven't hit any big climbing yet. But although I there there will be climbing on this ride at some point so um for now we're just saving our energy for that yeah see <laughs> and then we could probably i don't know we'll see you okay to walk it So we're walking this part of the trail as you can see it is there's quite a drop on that side so we figured it's probably safer to just walk this and then mount at the end of this trail because it'll turn into road. I don't know how much how much longer the the trail goes for but yeah, I figured this would be a kind of a decent hike and bike. Cyclocross? Kind of. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, we have to carry our bike if you want to do cyclocross. This is actually a pretty rideable oh, wow, trail if you had, if you had the skills. We don't have the skills to ride off-road yet, so we'll just stick to walking.
Okay, so we are here um, in, I think, Roxbury or Bridgewater, somewhere between those two towns. And sun did finally come through. It is pretty humid. Um, I am actually kind of dripping in sweat right now. And uh, yeah, we are 23 miles into our ride. So we still have about 30 miles or so left to go been a good ride so far pretty quiet the roads here are nice and wide you can see quiet roads nice and wide and pretty well paved um, it's not super smooth there's still there's some loose gravel here and there but you know nothing too uh, you know nothing too technical like when we went through uh, Lover's Leap State Park but yeah so we're just a pit stop or fueling number two have my second uh, cliff bar here and yeah, so here's Jason. Yeah, good ride so far. The roads are uh, nice and quiet. Of course, as I say that, a car, pa a car passes. Probably the first one we've seen in, I don't know, half hour. <laughs> um, haven't seen too many cars on this in this area. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting, uh, to, it feels a little humid. Um, definitely some moisture and sweat going on. Uh, but yeah, I like the roads so far. Um, nice and quiet and uh, some good uh, easy climbing um, nothing nothing too uh, nothing too long or steep yet um, but a decent amount of climbing and we're just pacing ourselves pretty good and uh, feeling good so far so much for tree cover uh, we are here in this wide open flat land looks like some open field uh, it looks like we're pretty high up um, I believe this is already Woodbury um, I just don't know exactly if we're in Woodbury or still in Roxbury so I don't know what this field is used for uh, Jason's just fixing his wheel I think it's his rear or his front wheel Actually, uh, I think there was there was a piece of debris uh, stuck to the front wheel. I think that's what the issue was. Oh, okay. When I spun it, something came flying out. So, it was squeaky. So we thought maybe it was something fishy. The wheels, the wheels actually seem okay. They're not rubbing against the brakes. Okay. <laughs>
are here now, um, I think we're in uh, Newtown area um, over um, at Pagasset State Park. And so we're just enjoying the view um, of Lake Lilanona. Unfortunately, Jason um, had a little mishap where he um, had fell off the bike and um, hopefully his elbow is fine. He has some kind of, it didn't, that doesn't look like a bone, um, but it's a little, um, it looks like it's inflamed. Um, so he's a little worried about that. Not like a little, uh, that kind of a small bump sticking out of my, uh, my elbow. And when I, but when I touch it, it uh, doesn't really hurt. And um, the bump doesn't feel hard. So I hope it's not, you know, the, the bone there. Um, I hope it's just some kind of inflammation or blister, um, you know, like a, a, blood, a yeah. blood blood bump for a lack of a better term. Um, uh, I hope it's nothing serious. Um, it's not like tremendously painful, um, you know, when I move the arm, so we'll see. Well, uh, there we go. A failure. I couldn't make it.
so we're back here. Um, we are home. Um, got back on time for lunch and take the dogs out. So um, it was a little longer than we in, had planned because um, one of the things that happened was, you know, Jason had fallen off and um, he was feeling dizzy. So he had to stop and sit down for a little bit. Uh, and then after that, um, we hit up this climb uh, called North Mountain Road. And oh my gosh, that was such a steep climb. It all of a sudden like got steep and thankfully I was able to gear all the way down and muscle through that little steep bit. Um, but yeah, no, that was, that was uh, pretty crazy. Um, we did 57, well, 58 miles. It's actually 57.6 miles with over 4,800 feet of climbing. Uh, and it took us took us about four hours and 42 minutes. Um, so a little slower today because new roads and there were some dirt roads that we went through then and uh, we kind of walked parts of the um, Lover's Leap State Park Trail uh, to get to the road uh, just to be on a safe side. So that's why we went a little slower today. But yeah, no, pretty happy with our um, the 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 overall ride, beautiful roads and um, going through Southbury and Woodbury was awesome. Um, uh, that part in Newtown with the climbing, with the dirt roads and everything was a little sketchy. So anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna take the doggies out, get some air conditioning because whew, it is humid out here. The majority of the ride was, was great and fun. It was, uh, the, I really liked the route. The roads were nice and smooth and um, some good climbing in there. Um, speaking of climbing, I did, uh, I did fall twice um, on hills today. So those were, um, those were bad experiences. Well, one of them wasn't actually when I was climbing. It was, we were on, I don't remember the name of the road, but it was kind of a narrow, um, a narrow road with uh, a lot of potholes. And um, I tried to make a U-turn uh, in that road and um, fell off my bike uh, on my left side. Usually when I fall, it's my right side, but this time fell on my left and um, uh, did something to my, uh, to my left elbow. Uh, but it seems to, it looks a lot better now actually than it did when I first fell. When I first fell, it had a, had a little, like a little bump that was raised quite a bit and it almost looked like a bone sticking out but um it must have just been built up blood or something because it's it's died down now um and second time i fell was climbing up north mountain road um which got very steep at one point um joy was able to make it though so uh i'm proud of her for that i actually failed in the middle of literally failed in the middle of that that hill um I got a little indecisive. I was in my, uh, um, so these are my excuses. So I, I got indecisive and uh, couldn't, I was in my 28 cassette, didn't, just was being stubborn, didn't want to go down to the 34 because I haven't needed it in a long time. And I, I thought I could just, you know, power through the 28, but then I considered getting off the saddle and then I changed my mind and stayed on the saddle. And then next thing I know I was on the ground. Um, so it's all kind of a blur now. Um, so next time I'm just going to swallow my pride and, um, and go into the 34, which I'm pretty sure I would have made it with that because there was only about 10 feet left to that steep portion. Um, anyway, aside from those two, um, bad events, it was, uh, it would have been a really fun ride. Uh, and it was a really fun ride. Um, you know, if I just erase those couple things from my memory. Well, thanks again for tuning in for today's ride. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. We will see you again next time. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And thank you for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.